Every day we ask this government what it's doing to make life more affordable for Canadians. And every day they tell us how much money they're spending. It's not how much money you spend, it's about the results you deliver. And by that standard, this government has failed. Yesterday's budget was no different. Tax, 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 spend, 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 as the Prime Minister stokes the fires of inflation. What happened to his promise to stand up for the middle class and those looking to join it? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank my colleague for asking a question about the results we're delivering. This morning, Statistics Canada announced that we have the lowest unemployment rate in nearly 50 years. Mr. Speaker, we have recovered 115 per cent of the jobs lost during the pandemic, and I would like to thank the hardworking Canadians from coast to coast who are rolling up their sleeves, getting to work, and creating growth for our country. Well, the cost of home ownership has doubled. Food prices are through the roof. Fuel costs are at record highs. And yesterday's budget only made things worse. There was no help for those being left behind by this NDP Liberal government. No tax relief, no plan to fight inflation, only spend, spend, spend. Does this minister not realize that her tax and spend policies are driving millions of Canadians out of the middle class? When will this government finally take steps to control the skyrocketing cost of living. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary, the Minister of Tourism and Associate Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, the member opposite is raising housing, which happens to be one of the themes of our budget of yesterday. And housing is an important way that we are going to help Canadians uh, deal with the increased cost of living. Housing is incredibly important for us right across the country, and we are the government that has invested the most in the creation of housing. 90% of the investments in our budget on housing are on the supply side because we are going to build homes. Yeah, yeah. 